We begin now with some new information about last week's deadly marathon explosions in Boston. U.S. officials say Johar Sarnaev and his brother appear to have been motivated by their religious views and most likely acted alone. The officials made the assessment after interrogators spoke with Sarnaev in his Boston hospital room. He was charged yesterday with federal crimes, including use of a weapon of mass destruction. Also yesterday, a memorial service was held for a 23-year-old Boston University graduate student who was killed in the marathon bombings. Lou Lingzi was described as a sweet-hearted woman who was passionate about piano and her studies. Hundreds of people attended the service, including Governor Deval Patrick. And a funeral was also held yesterday morning for another victim, 29-year-old Crystal Campbell of Medford. And the FBI has handed Boylston Street back over to the city of Boston. The site of the bombings had been a crime scene. All the debris has been cleared, and now the city will begin to reopen that six-block area. Meanwhile, the FBI still wants to interview the widow of the older brother who was killed Friday morning in Watertown. We have learned that Tamerlan Sarnayev lived here in Rhode Island. He was staying with his wife and young child at his wife's North Kingstown home. And today we're expecting to hear more details from that woman's lawyer. I'm a news reporter Andrew Adams and joining us live this morning from Providence with new details. Yeah, that's right. We are standing right in front of the law offices of Amato DeLuca, the representation for Catherine Russell. That is uh, the wife of Tamerlan Zarnaya, the one of the accused Boston Marathon bombers. Now, we're told that federal officials want to speak with Russell about her late husband. They have not been able to get in touch with her yet. And right now, DeLuca is working with those officials to try to work something out. Federal officials did visit Russell's family's North Kingstown residence on Sunday, but she did not speak with them at that time. Russell had been staying there since her husband, Tamerlan Zarnaya, was killed in a shootout in Watertown. On Friday, DeLuca told the Associated Press that Zernayev was home at their North Kingstown residence when his wife left for work on the day of his death. In a phone interview with Eyewitness News, DeLuca also told Tamerlan's brother told us that Tamerlan's brother Johar Zarnayev lived at the North Kingstown home when he wasn't attending UMass Dartmouth. The lawyer Amato DeLuca said that Russell didn't have any reason to suspect her husband leading up to last week's events. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to tell you what Zarnaev was allegedly doing when his wife left for work last week. For now, we're going to send it back to you. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.